or Akakusa. Asakusa. So after a week in Tokyo, we are headed to Nikko. Right now we're heading to Asakusa from Akasaka, which is very confusing. We are taking the Limited Express train to Nikko at 9.30 a.m. It's 8.30 right now, so we got a little bit of time. We just want to make sure we had enough time because finding where to go in the stations is a little bit difficult. It's about 30 minutes to get to Asakusa from Akasaka. So we're just heading there now. We got all of our stuff on us. And if you watch our packing video, you'll see that I actually have different stuff on me. We're going to Ginza. Ginza? Yeah. So, um, if you watch our packing video, you'll notice I actually have a completely different bag on me. And I also have a little camera bag. Let me show you. And it's because last second I decided I wanted to have a little personal item. And I also switched to the same backpack as Kylie last second. Kylie also decided to add an extra bag. So instead of one bag in it, we actually have two bags. Maybe we'll go over what we actually packed afterwards. We actually packed basically the same stuff. We just switched up our bags on the way. So anyway, headed to the Ginza line right now to get to Asakusa. It's almost difficult to know how to dress because it will be like one type of weather outside obviously, and then in the station it's hot as hell. Like right now, I feel like I'm gonna start dripping instantly through my clothes. So, but outside is like perfect weather. Okay, so anyway, we're headed out to Nico right now. But our tickets are mine. We had to show the train due to our Nico Pass and our Limited Express ticket. And then we had to show our Limited Express ticket again uh, to get on the train. And we ended up barely making it for an undisclosed reason. Uh, it was <laughs> potentially a bowel movement we were waiting on. Um, yeah, I've had trouble here, let's just say. Um, but now I don't, so. We made it with like two minutes to spare. Yeah. I think the move is definitely to buy your tickets beforehand, mm -hmm. but the downside is you're still going to have to wait in line to go pick it up Yeah. because we try to go through with just showing it on our phone because that's what it says you can do and you actually can't do that. You have to go pick it up no matter what. Yeah, unfortunately. So, yeah. Yeah, you're going to have to figure it out anyways. Like when you get here, you're going to have to talk to people and get the tickets, so... So get to so, us uh, fairly early because you're going to have to wait in line. Yes, get here earlier than us. Because if you get there last second, you're not going to get on the train. Nope. And we're just going to go explore for us today because I think we're only supposed to get rain around 3 o'clock today. It's supposed to just drizzle, but then tomorrow is going to be thunderstorms. So we might just be chilling in Nico tomorrow. Not really sure. the Tobu line in Nico. So now we're gonna exit and go grab some food and then I think we're gonna go hop directly on the bus after we put our stuff in some coin lockers. So yeah I mean it wasn't too bad of a journey. Kylie slept the whole way and I was just chilling. Coin locker that way. Coin Oh my. Gotta get up the stairs for the coin lockers. Well, we just arrived in Nico. And it's much more mountainous than I imagined. I thought there'd be like some hills and stuff, but it's pretty mountainous, I'd say. We just dropped our bags in the coin locker. We can't check into our hotel till later. We're gonna get some ramen before we get on the bus to head out to the ropeway. Well, oh, I think that's the tofu skin. Yeah, this place is already exceeding our expectations, I think. Uh, I think <laughs> every place that we overhype, I think, uh, Disappoints us. Time to do that 
that somewhere. Yeah, I think we get too obsessed about places we're going, and then we get there and it's like, oh, this is just a normal place. It's not some magic, magic <laughs> land. Okay, so we're on, and we're headed to the to, we're headed to the Akachidaira. Daira. <laughs> Ropeway, about 35 minute bus ride. To like figure out the buses, you really need to get this little Nico guide map or else it's very confusing on where to go. Very helpful. It'll help you plan your time. Uh, but the only problem is that the only place we figured out where to get it was in Akasuka or Akakusa. Asakusa. Yeah, now we're on our way to the first stop because we can't check until later, so we're just gonna do stuff all day. Um, we had some really good ramen. Some of these places we go into, I mean, I feel like recording in some of these places, it just feels like disrespectful to record. So some of the meals I haven't recorded in, maybe just recorded the food itself, is called Gyoza no Yumekin. Um, and it's just a couple minute walk from the Tobunuko train station, and it was awesome. Okay, we're here at Kagon. Yes. We're here at Kagon Waterfall. We missed our stop <laughs> for the ropeway. Whoops. But that's okay. Yeah, and if you, if you miss the stop, you can't go back. So, well, you can, but you gotta go all the way back. Yeah, so... And don't miss the stop. Yeah, we didn't realize we were supposed to press the button. Yeah, and so we missed it, but... Yeah, the sign on the bus said, press the button when you get off. So I was like, okay. I, and I meant, like, to before, get off. Before, yeah, yeah, to get <laughs> off. Anyways, it's fine. We ended up seeing the mountains anyways from the bus, which is beautiful, so we're just gonna hang around. I'm gonna get cool. The falls, this area, and kind of shop around and check it out. Oh, cute! What? Nico pin? Thank you. Oh, did you hear it? That one. Oh, that one was the coolest <laughs> one! I'm obsessed with this little lemon stuff. Are you kidding me? I already got a lemon jacket. Also, this one oh, is it says it's like Tomu, to, to, Tobu Limited Express. That's the other one. Ooh. Oh, the oh, that one's the cutest. That's sick. I heard this is like the popular scene. Here, Nico is their pudding. We've got a lot of little shops and some ice cream. Ooh, melon. Kiwi. Delicious. It's a really cute area. So this is the area around Chagon Falls. And they got like a bunch of little shops and like eateries. And they also have uh, like a uh, elevator you can go down that takes you, I guess, right in front of the falls. We don't really want to do that, so we're not going to. But yeah, you can see the viewpoint that we went down to. You can just walk down, it's not very far from the bus stop. I think next we're gonna go to Chizenji uh, Temple, Temple, which is I think a 20 minute or so walk from the 26th bus stop. The clouds are rolling in a little bit, so we'll see if we get hit with some rain, hopefully not. But so far it's a pretty nice day. Yeah. The weather's perfect, honestly. Yes, it is. And, ooh, rain. And right as we talk about the weather, we start getting some drops of rain, so. On this walk, we'll see how bad it gets. Oh, and we're finally at our hotel. The, the Ritz, Ritz Carlton. Just kidding, that is not where we're staying. I wonder how much it is to stay here. I don't even think we would have glanced at no. this place while booking this. I almost think it'd be weird to have a ton of money to stay at like places like this on trips. Like there's no struggle involved. The sweatiness, the the it your, would your back hurting. I think that's part of the travel experience. If you take that away, I don't know if it's it's just like vacation.
How was it? That was cool. I mean, it's, that was really cool. I think, I was just saying, I mean, I don't think that they need to uh, translate everything, but it might be useful for them so that we, uh, we know like maybe we should pay for something or like yeah offer something because I have no idea like what to do in any kind of church. Yeah, no, same. So like, I'm not just gonna go up and light something on fire. I know, cause... I, yeah, I wish I knew what to do. I mean, we could probably Google it. We're here at the lake. We got our favorite coffees. Costa Flat White. Mm-hmm. It is the best. We're gonna chill here for a little bit before we go back to our hotel and check in. And I'm gonna take a bath. Cause I got a bath over there, so I'm stoked. So we were over at the Cheese Energy Shrine and just having our coffee, just chilling. And then we saw this boat and I remembered that there was a scenic boat that went around the lake. And I didn't realize that this was the boat. The boat. And um, this boat is actually free with the all, is it the all access Nico Pass. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, you can ride around the lake. I think it takes about an hour. Throw all my hair trash. Can't always find these, so you gotta throw things away when you can. can't. There's no trash anywhere. You can only th recycle bottles or cans, so yeah, that's nice. <laughs> There's only one time in Tokyo, I think it was in Shibuya, that I saw where people had piled a bunch of trash. <laughs> but other than that, I feel like people follow the rules pretty well. Yeah, it, that was a fun little boat ride. Uh -huh. Made us pretty sleepy though. <laughs> we had plans to keep going, but it's starting to rain. So I don't think the Senjogahara hike is a good idea now. Cold. And yeah, it's getting chilly. I think it's about four o'clock right now. Yeah. The buses don't stop till about 7 p.m. But honestly, we we're not gonna- We have to check in and- Yeah, we gotta go check into our hotel. Go get our bags from the train station also figure out how we get back on the buses because they're a little bit confusing. Honestly, the place we're staying is a little bit expensive compared to how much we paid in Tokyo or the rest of the trip. We paid about, I think 90 bucks a night for most of our trip, but tonight, I think it's like 200 a night. Yeah, We're paying like 200 a night for our Nico spot, but the reason is because it is thousand dollars and ninety-seven dollars a night. A night? Yeah. Okay. So I don't know if you could hear Kylie, but the Ritz on Lake Chuzenji is a thousand dollars a night. But anyway, back to what I was saying. We spent like 90 bucks a night on hotels, but tonight we're spending about 200 bucks. The reason is this place is going to be a lot bigger. It's kind of in the middle of our trip, so we thought. Be nice to splurge a little bit, have a little bit nicer of a hotel. This is gonna be like five times the size of our hotel in Tokyo. And we're just staying for two nights here, so the splurge isn't like gonna be for a long time. And also, yeah, just some more space is gonna be nice for just a couple nights. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, it's a splurge, but not for a crazy amount of time. Is that our bus? Yeah, I think so. Ah. See ya. Well, there goes our bus. We did miss it. But the next one's probably coming soon. Barely missed it. Probably would have had to stand though. But yeah, I think we gotta wait like 25 minutes for the next bus down. Still without knowing the timetables, we ended up getting on faster than we thought. Mm. Kyla Mae is very happy. I feel like coming up here is a little bit more complicated than I expected with this bus system because there's like a lot of buses and they go all over but it's kind of hard to make sure you're going on the right one. I think it's definitely better to come up here and like plan a little bit better. Yeah. It's like maybe study the buses a yes. little bit more and know where you want to go and that which buses go there because when you get here it's a little bit difficult to... Mm. Yeah. Know 
try to like figure out at the same time where you want to go while you're trying to figure out the buses. Yes. And honestly, I think if you're coming up here for an extended period of time, mm -hmm. I think it'd be better just to rent a car. Okay, we made it to back to Nico. Carly's feeling a little sick after that twisty turvy ride. <laughs> turvy twist. Our hotel is a little bit away from the Nico station just down this road. Uh, I saw everyone online complaining about this hotel that it's like down a highway and there's nowhere to walk and I think that when people walk there that they were walking down the main highway but if you just go like one block back there's a sidewalk. The only other downside about being in Nico tonight is that unlike Tokyo where everything seems to be open all the time everything closes very early like I don't even know if it's five o'clock yet and like every restaurant's closed so we might be just eating at our trusty old 7-eleven uh, tonight but honestly that's fine with me because it's just about as good as anything you could have in Tokyo just kidding that's not true but it's up there Yeah, we're gonna have some dinner at 7-Eleven tonight. Let's see what we can find for 7-Eleven Hall in Nico. For some reason, this light never changes. So you just gotta send it. Look how cool that is, that setting of that 7-Eleven. Okay, 7-Eleven Hall, let's see what we get. You wanna get two pages we're out. <laughs> hmm, they got some pasta. Or seafood noodles, I kinda, ooh, ooh. Got a big bowl of ramen. I don't know how that would be really. For breakfast I've been eating like trying different Danishes. They got so many different ones. You gonna get some sandwiches for dinner? I'm gonna get one for breakfast. Oh, okay. Okay, so we just got a huge haul from 7-Eleven. So this big ass bag. We got some 7-Eleven uh, spaghetti? spaghetti. We got, I got some honey toast again. Okay, running across the freeway. Let's go, let's go. Um, yeah, try not to die. Yeah, but we'll uh, review our haul here in just a minute. That. So, here is my 7-Eleven Bolognese. I don't know about that. I guess we'll see what it tastes like here in a second. I mean, it smells good. It smells fine, but looks spooky. Positivity, I guess. You gotta have a little positivity before you embark on things like this. Honestly, sometimes when people find our videos, they have searched ASMR food sounds. So, here it is. Pushing around. Oh, I don't know, this kind of smells weird when you get close to it. Hmm, it's fine. Not the best thing I've had on Just this trip. Tastes like frozen yeah. spaghetti. Tastes like something you get. Like Stoker's? A convenience store. Does it taste like spaghetti though? The noodles? I mean, or the sauce? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the sauce tastes like meat sauce. Like, it's not bad. Honestly, I'd give it like 6 out of 10. Hmm, okay. Maybe 7. 6 probably. Nice. Would I be like, yeah, let's get this tomorrow? No. But I'll eat it tonight. Because I'm not walking back to 7-Eleven. No. All right, that's going to be it from us today. We are just getting ready for bed and unpacking. Tomorrow's the first day of the trip that we don't have something super early in the morning. So we're kind of stoked about that. We're going to sleep in a little bit. Tomorrow there's supposed to be thunderstorms all day. So we're going to see what we're able to do. We have plans just to do stuff around the Nico area, the Toshogu Shrine, and some other things that are pretty close to the station. We tried to do as much as we could today that was farther away from the station. We just got into Nico today, obviously, so we weren't able to do a ton, but at least we got some things done. So yeah, tomorrow we're just going to see what we can do during the thunderstorms. Worst case, we just hang out around 
the room and have a chill day before we continue on for our next 12 days of the trip. So anyway, that's it from us today and we'll see you in the next one.